Hello and a big welcome back to all my subscribers and if you're not a subscriber what's wrong with you? Uh, today um, this is the second part of the attempt by myself to learn RISC V assembly programming and uh, today I'm going to implement a couple of the functions that I talked about before uh, when I designed the utility in pseudocode. So just a quick recap I'm trying to write a utility which will convert uh, a number given to it on the command line into hex, decimal, and binary and display it, the three numbers. So it's a really simple program in theory. Uh, so let me just remind you again what we've got. Um, the pseudocode was enter into main, um, parse the command line, output the result, and then exit, and then we have subsequent, you know, the, the relevant things here. Now what I've done so far, let me just walk you through this. Um, I've created a directory and uh, I've created a make file for my program. Now this is a very bog standard make file. It's not anything special or clever. Um, but as you can see it's does what I need it to do. One thing relevant here is the C flags. So the architecture is uh, RV64 uh, IMA FDC. And you may wonder, well, how do you figure that out? Um, I am running a Linux machine as a virtual machine with a RISC processor. I have a video where I've showed how to install this and how to get it working and how to create it. I'll link to that in the description. Um, but here, what we're trying to do is um, get this information. Now you can get this under Linux just by catting the process and it'll give you the uh, ISA information. And you can use that then for your architecture in your make file. So I have created uh, a basic um, .s file here. Now you can see that I've set up the data in anticipation. So I've got dec and hex. Now because I'm using the printf function that comes with the Linux system, this makes my life a bit easier because it will print a decimal number with a um, percent D and a hexadecimal number with a percent O. The problem is it will not print a binary number. So what I'm going to have to do is construct the binary number as a string and then print that separately. So kind of deviation from where I've gotten to. Now what I've got here is um, just the global main. I've set out the um, the, the items in the pseudocode. So if you remember, I have a parse command line, output result, error message, main, and exit. I've populated some of these. Main is relatively straightforward at the moment because the only thing I'm doing is just loading in a number, calling the output result, and then exiting. Exiting is loading the A0 register and A7 where you typically load the system call and the system call I want is 93 which exits the program. So um, what we've got here is um, a decrement the stack pointer to, to give myself room for a word, uh, store the value, set up the arguments and then I put um, A5 which is the integer which I've stuck in here. Temporarily I've just put 255. And I load that into A1 and then A2 is the second argument. So the first argument will output as um, decimal and the second argument will call um, the hexadecimal output. It calls printf, uh, loads value from the stack, increments the stack pointer and returns and in theory this should be more or less a perfect program. So if we run it, 
uh, if we could type properly um, we can make it and you can see it's there dot my convert and we run it and it doesn't actually exit and it's seg false now I suspect this has something to do with the return statement in my output however it does correctly output the right number um, in decimal and hex um, we can change this to some other number um, 105 for no good reason uh, we can make it run it and it'll output the hexadecimal and the decimal so that all works but the segmentation fault continues I suspect this has something to do with the um, return statement now in actual fact when I run this program for real uh, it's gonna exit after this so in theory I could just put jump to exit and hopefully that would work Yeah, so that works. So it was the return statement was my problem. So I'm going to have a problem with the returns. Um, so what I'm going to need to do is to really work on the program flow to make sure that it out that it um, correctly exits. So I don't need to exit from main because it's going to exit there and it would fall through anyway. Um, so that's where I'm at at the moment. I'm going to leave it there for this video. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, please like and subscribe. I will be continuing the series and trying to add command line parsing and error messages. And, um, and then I'm going to have to write a function that wasn't in my pseudocode to uh, create a string of a binary... A, a, str a, re a string representing the binary number um, that we have here. So if it was 255, then I would need to put 1111111 as a string and then print that. So uh, I'll implement that a bit later, but um, we'll see how we get on. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon.